So this is a Compass Amiga 540, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van you've got your jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake, we'll take you through these in person here on site. In the front locker you have your gas regulator on the bulkhead, as you can see here. Yellow valve on the side is a gas shut off valve. On top of the bottle you've got an open and closed valve, open is gas on and closed is gas off. The pipe work that goes into the front of the bottle is a reverse thread fitment. So you need to turn it the opposite way, for instance, to a uh, bottle lid uh, to release this fitment. Carry a maximum of two six kilogram propane gas bottles in the van at any time. Coming down the side of the van, you've got your water pump connection, very simply. Pushes into the side of the van and pulls out. The pickup pipe itself is actually on a pipe, as you can see screws into the top of the act roll and locks the pump in place. You then got your wind down leg below that to stabilise the caravan while it's inside. You can never lift the caravan with these legs, they are only there for stabilising. If you want to run the heating or hot water on gas, you need to remove this cover on the side of the van. Essentially the heating and hot water flue, the same as what you've got on the side of your house. But you need to remove that cover to allow the gas systems to breathe on board the caravan. Coming down the side of the van, you've got your wheels and motor mover. The motor mover will demonstrate why you're here on site. And we'll also torque the wheel next to the correct setting prior to the caravan leaving site. We've then got our toilet flush tank. We'll open this up and we'll put three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. And below that, you've got your toilet waste cassette, which you release by pulling up the yellow handle and pulling the cassette towards you. The neck here at the top turns out 90 degrees, so you can tip the waist away. The yellow cap is a measure for your pink and your blue fluid. And on the back of the cassette, you've got a uh, yellow pressure relief button, so when you're tipping the waist away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. You need to put one litre of water in that cassette and a cap full of the blue fluid. You've then got storage for underneath the bed at the rear of the van. On either side of the rear of the caravan, you've got your wind down legs to stabilise the van while it's on site. You've also got your grey waste pipes. The grey waste pipes here will have two bits of grey pipe that go into them and they'll drop down inside the waste master that you'd put on the ground below the van. Essentially this is the waste water out of the sinks and the shower. Coming back down the side of the caravan, you've got your storage locker again for underneath the bed at the rear. You've got two fridge vents that allow the fridge to breathe. So the top one will blow out some hot air and the bottom one will take it to the cooler. And behind one of those you've also got a gas flue for when you're running the fridge on gas. You've then got a three pin socket so you can have power out to your awning. You've got your battery locker with your uh, 100 pound leisure battery in there. Your mains power lead coming out to the outside of the awning. The last wind down leg and then you've got your blown air vent which will allow hot air out into the awning if you've got the blown air heating turned on. You've also then got a barbecue gas point at the front so you can have gas out to the barbecue or a cooker on the outside of the van. Going on the inside of the caravan now. First thing we need to do is come over to the control panel on the far side. So we've already got the legs down, we've already got power connected as you've seen. Your main power switch here is your 240 volt and 12 volt power switch that'll turn on your power supplies on board the caravan. You have your voltmeter just here, uh, sorry, your water pump run just here to the right hand side. I'll go through that in a moment. You've then got your voltmeter. And then below that, you've got your heating and hot water control panels, which I'll go through in a moment also, and your tele connections. First thing we're going to need to do is fill the water system up. So we've got the Acro roll connector on the outside. And when you arrive on site, I'd imagine you'd have no water in the caravan, as we do advise you drain it down after each use. Once, once you're ready to fill the water system, you need to lift this cushion up in the corner that normally covers up this front area here. And you'll see down on the floor, a yellow drain down valve. That yellow drain down valve needs to be parallel with the floor as it is at the moment. That will allow you to fill the water system up on board the caravan. Once that yellow valve is parallel with the floor as it is at the moment, like I said, it's upright to drain the water system down, but parallel to uh, fill the water system, so flat with the floor essentially, you'll come over to every tap on board the caravan and you'll open all the taps up on the hot, hot side of the water system. Once all them taps are open on the hot side, that includes the shower in the bathroom and the two sinks, you'll then come over to the water pump control on the wall on the far side of the van and turn the water pump on. At that point, the water system will start filling up. Once the water system is full, you'll have water running out of every tap continuously on board the caravan. 
And at that point then you can shut all of the taps back off and the water system will be and you'll be able to start warming the water on board the caravan. So once you've got that water system filled, you can actually start warming the water on board the caravan. And that's where these bottom switches come in here. This switch on the left hand side with the red light on is your hot water on electric. It is a preset temperature on electric and you cannot control the water temperature. It's 35 to 40 degrees of temperature with that, that, with that switch on. If you want to run the water on gas, you can do. You can just about see a flame symbol down the side here. I'm going to spin this out to grey dial to the flame symbol. The green light is a pilot light essentially, so that allow, that indicates to me that we're, we're igniting on gas. If it fails to ignite, which it will do at the moment because the gas bottle's turned off, and right on cue you'll have a red light appear in the back here. You've then got the temperature dial on the front here for when you're on gas, you've got a temperature gauge between 30 and 70 degrees of water temperature. You will need to use the gas system to boost the water system when you are showering on board the caravan, even if you're on mains power. To isolate the gas supply, you turn the gas back off, and it will turn the gas off uh, to the hot water system itself. Above that, we have a similar system for the actual heating on board the caravan. Now, the two switches you see here are for the 230 mains side of the water system, uh, heat, onboard heating system. I'll explain the gas when we go to the heater itself. So this switch here on the left-hand side, you'll need to have on to put power to the switch here. As you can see, when I turn this off, the green light disappears, turn it back on, and the green light reappears. Down the side, you'll have 500, 1,000, or 2,000 watts. And what this relates to is the amount of power coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. You'll select the correct power source down the side, and you'll be able to control the temperature of your heater on the dial in the center here between one and nine. The higher you go, the hotter the heater will be. So that's your electric heating for the caravan. So that's actually your room temperature, essentially. On the heater itself, which is just behind me, you have the option to run gas. So you have a dial on top of the heater here. So you can spin the dial around between 10 and nine. It will self ignite, so you hold down the gas valve. And then this window at the front, when it does ignite, you'll have your pilot light for the gas water heating, uh, gas heating on board the caravan. Once that pilot light is there, you'll hold down the gas valve for a further five to 10 seconds, then slowly release the valve, and you'll be able to control the temperature of the caravan on the dial on top here between one and 10. Turn the gas supply back off, you'll spin it to the off position, or the zero just here, and it will isolate the gas going to the heater itself. On the opposite side of the heater, you have your blown air heating, so very similar to what you've got in your car. So you've got the fan speed here on top, as you can see, between one and, nine, uh, one and five. The dot in the center here indicates the heat is gonna come out the front of the heater. The wave symbol on the left-hand side here indicates we're gonna turn on the blown air, and that's continuous blown air. So now the heat will come out these vents around the caravan. If you want the blown air to cut in and out with the thermostat, you'll need to put the A on the right hand side here. You have to flick the switch over to the A and that will essentially allow thermostatic blown air. So the fans cut in and out with the thermostat on board the van. Next thing we're going to go to is the fridge system. Now the fridge again is very straightforward to use. You've got your power switch on the front here to turn the power on. That's that switch here. The fridge is just loading up. At the moment, we're using mains power to chill the fridge, so we can control the temperature of the fridge by pressing the button on the right-hand side here. Do apologize, it's got a bit blurry there. The higher we go with these blocks here, the colder the fridge will be. Hit the button on the right, left-hand side, and it will take us to our 12-volt mode. Now, what the 12-volt mode is, is for when you're towing down the road to use the fridge as a cool box. So you'll need to be connected to the car at the front of the caravan. Um, then you come inside. You don't have to have the main control panel turned on inside the door here or inside on the opposite side of the door. Sorry. That can be turned off and you'll select the 12 volt mode and essentially it will turn the fridge into a cool box when you're traveling down the road. You will not have any temperature control at that point as it is just a cool box, not a fridge. Press the button on the left hand side again and it will go to gas mode. Now in a moment it will fail to ignite and it will come up with a nine here and a spanner symbol to let me know it's failed to ignite. And it will also flash the blue pilot light just here. If the fridge was ignited on gas, the blue light would stay solid and it would mean the fridge is working as it should do on the gas system. To turn the fridge off, you'll press and hold the power button and it will turn the power back off. Microwave hob 
grill and oven all work very much like your household appliances no difference at all there you've got your light for the cooker on this switch here and your igniter for the cooker and the hob on the right hand side you can access the storage at the back of the caravan also by lifting up the bed and you'll see that you've got your full storage area underneath the back put that back down last thing we go through this particular caravan is the toilet system in the bathroom so on the toilet you have an electric flush on the right hand side of the toilet you have a full indicator light that lets you know when the toilet waste cassette is completely full the toilet seat itself turns for your convenience as you can see here however when you're removing the toilet waste cassette from underneath the van you need to have it on the straight on position as it is now and you'll also need to make sure the toilet waste flap is in the closed position as it is now as well when you're using the loo I advise you push the toilet waste handle forward to allow the waste straight into the cassette so because it's not like a household toilet where you've got water in the bowl for instance so you need to open that up so the waste goes straight down like i said when you're not using it do advise you shut the gray flap back up to stop any smells coming back inside the van so this is a compass amiga 540 if you have any further questions on the caravan please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company and we'd be more than happy to help we appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon Thank you for now. Bye-bye.